Hello, this is Nathan Webb. This will be a short tutorial on how to rig a character's head in Maya using a few orient constraints. First, I need to add the joints for the head. This is the Andy mesh I'm using. I'm going to go to Skeleton Joint Tool, and in the side view, I'll click on the base of the neck. Underneath the ear, where the jaw is going to be, and then the top of the head and hit enter. I'll name these joints neck, head, and end head. I'm going to skin the head geometry to the uh, joints. So I'll click the neck joint, select the head, go to skin, bind skin, smooth bind, and two influences will be fine for today. So now when we rotate our neck, you'll see our entire head moves. And when we rotate our head, we'll see that our head looks really nasty. We can adjust that with some weight painting. I'm going to select my head and go to the Paint Skin Weights tool up here on my animation toolbar. Double click on that. And then you'll see that my neck joint is influencing the bottom part of my head where my jaw is. I don't want my neck to control my jaw area. I want my head joint to control that. So I'm going to hold the B button to make my brush a lot smaller. And then instead of removing weight from the head from the neck joint, I'm going to add it to the head joint. So I'm going to click the head joint and the white area represents where I have influence. I'm actually going to flood my entire head with a value of 1, so this head joint will temporarily control the entire head. I'm going to select head, go to replace the value of 1, and hit flood. And now you see the entire head geometry will be controlled by this head joint. And next, I'm going to put the weighting back on the neck joint. So I'll grab the head go back and double click on the paint skin weights tool, go to neck, and I'm going to just click in the neck area, go in perspective view so I can get a little better look here, and just left mouse button click to associate these vertices with the neck joint. If I click on my head joint now, you'll see that my neck mostly stays around, but you see some funk. So let's click back on my neck, double click, and let's make sure that this area is entirely controlled by my neck joint. That looks a little better. You see there's some weird weighting in the back of the neck, so I could bend my head down and then add a little bit more influence to the neck on this area so it looks a little smoother. I'll lower the value down and we can just paint a little bit over here. And maybe a little bit up here as well just to smooth it out some. You could also use the smooth function which will average the weights in an area to smooth it out. That's good enough for this purpose looks okay. Let's return the head back to its original position and we're going to create a couple controllers to control the head. I'm just going to make a circle, create NURBS primitive circle on the ground here. That'll be our net control. I'm going to move it over to where my neck joint is hold the V button to snap it on a point. The joints also count as a point. And I'm going to scale it down so it's just a little bit bigger than the neck. So it's kind of like a necklace. And then make sure to freeze transformations. Modify freeze transformations. That zeroes out the transforms. I'm going to call this neck control. And then I'm going to orient constraint that neck joint to this controller. So I pick the controller first and then the joint. Go to Constrain, Orient. 
make sure I have maintain offset turned on, hit apply. Now when we rotate our net controller, our entire head will move. Next, I want to create a controller for my head. I like having a box. I'm going to import a NURBS curve box that I have saved off. It's called Cube X Form. I'll move it up to where the head is. Scale it up a little bit. And that'll be good enough. Remember to modify freeze transformations. And I'm going to change the pivot point of this box to be where the head joint is. Let's double check in the perspective view. That looks good. I'm going to freeze transformations on the box. Modify freeze transformations to double check. And I'm going to orient constraint the joint, the head joint, to this box. So pick the box first, pick the head joint, go to constrain orient. Now when I rotate the head box, the head will rotate, and then you can rotate the neck as well. You notice the head doesn't follow. The head controller does not follow the head. Um, some people like animating like this where you can do the Night at the Roxbury head wiggle. I prefer to parent the head joint to the neck controller, hit P. That way when you move the neck, the entire head moves. If you want to do it the other way, I'll unparent the head, and then I'm going to point constrain the head box to the head joint. So I'll pick the head joint, pick the head box, go to constrain point. Now when I move the neck, the head will remain oriented forward, and the box will follow it. That's a simple way on how to rig a head. You also will want to make sure you parent your head controllers to your chest. You also will want to parent your neck joint to the end of your spine. So we'll take our neck controller, parent it to the chest, and that should be it. There you go.